We usually think of a sextant for marine navigation, but first and foremost, it's a tool for measuring angles between two sight lines. Welcome to, welcome to Hanover Center. We're going to uh, demonstrate the use of a sextant here. Um, the very first thing we're going to look at is the church. Using the sextant, I'll sight through uh, my split mirror. Lower mirror will look at the bottom of the church. I'll swing the uh, upper mirror so I can look at the top of the church. The two sight lines are lined up with each other and the base of the church. Now the right hand one is swinging up towards the steeple there. A sextant measures angles between sight lines by viewing those sight lines through a series of mirrors. It then adjusts the angles of the sight lines by changing the angles of the mirrors. The last measurement that I'm going to take is to sight the sun. To do that, I'll be uh, turning down the uh, sun filter. and then to bring the sun down to the horizon. Once we have the elevation of the sun above the horizon, we would like to convert that to latitude. If we took our sighting on the spring or fall equinox and the sun was directly overhead, we would know that we were on the equator. If it was on the horizon, we'd be at the pole. So the latitude is 90 degrees minus the elevation we measure. Of course, it is not always the first day of spring or fall. On the winter solstice, the sun is low in the sky and we would add 23 degrees. On the summer solstice, it is high and we subtract 23 degrees. This correction, which changes every day, is called the declination and you can find it in tables. One of the difficulties of measuring, um, like we did in the previous shot, was that I don't really have a horizon. So I'm going to show you something called a false horizon. What I've got is a pan of water. People used to always use mercury, but you can use water. And I'm lining it up such that I'm looking down, I can see the reflection of the sun that's up there. And if I look and measure the angle between the, re um, the sun's reflection and the real sun, I can um, that's twice the angle to the from the horizon. I'm also going to be using my sun filter, so I'm going to flip down my upper sun filter and my lower one. You can go in here. A little bit tricky to get the uh, both views of the sun at the same time. In fact, I've got a bit of glare, so I'm going to have to shield that up here. There it comes in. Okay, and there I go. About 43 degree, 83 degrees, so that's about 42 and a half, 41 degrees above the horizon.